This is a video showing how to use the University Fire Locker system. Type firelocker.ohio.edu in the address bar, or you can search for Fire Locker on the university website. Use your Ohio ID and password to log in the system. Click Login. This is the basic interface of Fire Locker. On the upper right corner, there's your username and the system usage. Beside the username, there is a place that you could view all the system activity, account information, and system messages. In the middle, you could use the buttons to upload files, manage your groups, and delete files. Below the menus, there are all the files that you have uploaded onto File Locker. As you can see, I have uploaded two files before. Below the uploaded files, all files that have been shared by others with you appear here. Click Upload to upload files onto File Locker. There is a place called Expiration Date when uploading a file. Remember, File Locker only stores your file up to 30 days, so you can choose a date less than 30 days to store your files. You could add some notes to this file. You can let the system scan your files by checking the box of Scan for Viruses. Click Browse and Upload to find your files. Locate your files and click Open. It takes some time to upload the file onto File Locker depending on the file size. To delete some files, just check the box beside the file name and click Delete. If you would like to view the details of the file, click the little triangle on the right. As can be seen, this ITPHD file has been shared with one user in zero groups. You can also make this file public available by checking the box of Public Share. And also, if the other users download this file, you can check the box of Notify Me on Download. To share this file with other users, click the Share, share This File at the bottom. As shown here, this file has been shared with this user. You can also unshare this file with any user that you have been shared with. You can search for other Ohio University users by typing in their last or their full name on the right of the screen. As you type the user's name, the user should pop up. Choose the user and then click Share. If you could not find the user that you're looking for, check the box of Search the entire Ohio University directory and type again. Then you can see that this file has been shared with two users. Go to the Share with Groups to share this file with an entire group. I created a group called Class previously, so I can click Share to share this file with my entire class group. I'm going to show you how to create groups in just one minute. Now, under the groups share in this file, you can see Class. You can also unshare with the class group. Close the Share screen, go back to the File Locker interface, and click Manage Groups. Click the triangle beside the group to view details of the group, or to edit the group. The group has three users right now. You can remove them, or you can add more users, or you can rename the group. The process of adding users to a group is the same as sharing a file with a user. You just search the user by their ID or by their name. Click Add when you found the user. You could delete existing groups or add a new group by clicking Add New Group. 
Type the group name and then click the green plus sign to create the group.